Here I am with the Creality K2 Plus and the Bamboo Lab P1P. We are here specifically looking at the AMS and CFS buffers. This device right here, this device right here. I feel like there was an underlying concern that the Creality K2 Plus and the CFS would be a cheap knockoff of Bamboo Lab 3D printers and specifically their AMS system. However, in fact, Creality has done their homework, learned from mistakes in the Bamboo Lab ecosystem, and have made several small but effective design choice changes over what Bamboo Lab has done with their designs. One of those is the cabling system used in the CFS system compared to the cabling system used in the AMS system. On the Bamboo Lab P1P, P1S, and X1C, you will see the tab is facing the body of the machine. You need a tool that slides behind the cable in order to depress that tab and allow you to remove the clip. This applies to both cables. Let's talk about removing the Bowden tube from the buffer. Here on the P1P, P1S, and X1C, you also need to use this tool. This tool encases the PDF tube, slides into the buffer, and depresses the coupler inside, allowing you to remove the tube. Here we are again with the K2 Plus buffer. You will notice two design improvements. The coupler release ring is on the outside of the buffer and this little tab. Pushing this little tab forward will bring the internal coupler flush with the external coupler. With this tab forward, you simply depress that coupler ring and remove the tube. One more surprising design improvement made by Creality in the K2 Plus.